Many WordPress plugins are built for a single purpose. So they don't have a lot of features. They don't have a lot of settings. They're very simple and straightforward. On the other hand, we also have these multifunctional plugins that are built for multiple purposes. And therefore they have a lot of settings and a lot going on. And this then tends to create a lot of bloat. And a lot of bloat means that these plugins are likely slowing down your website. It's a big problem for user experience. And when that starts to become a problem, that also reflects in your SEO. So this is something you definitely should be paying attention to. Now, don't get me wrong. There are definitely these simple plugins that can also still be bloated and still slow down your website. But the more features that you have, the more settings you have, the more complex the website is, the more likely it is to bloat your website to start slowing it down. But today I want to talk about a specific multifunctional plugin that actually comes pre-installed on every WordPress install. So if you're not paying attention, this could also be slowing down your website. Now this plugin is called Jetpack. You've probably heard of it. It's a very popular plugin. Part of it's popular because it comes pre-installed in WordPress. So a lot of people just leave it be. Now, if you're not familiar with Jetpack, it is an all-in-one solution for a WordPress site. And if you take a look at Jetpack in the WordPress plugin directory, you can see that it is labeled as Jetpack WP Security, Backup, Speed, and Growth. So it's meant to make your website safer, faster, and help you grow traffic. But being an all-in-one plugin, just take a look at the list of these features. As with many plugins, they have both free and premium features that are available. And there's so many different types of features between the free and paid options that you have. And it really covers a wide variety of features, everything from security, images, sidebar widgets, analytics, maps, SEO, sharing, payment, search, spam filtering, and more. And so the problem is this is a complex plugin with so many different features and settings. And this is one that is going to slow down your website. Now with these types of plugins, you can certainly go setting by setting and disable everything that you are not using. And that can help, but it's still a big plugin. Now, if you have Jetpack installed, what you can do is also run a speed test with Jetpack installed and then also uninstall it and rerun the test to see how it impacts your site's performance. And while I know that many of the Jetpack features can be attractive, it can seem like that you want to use a lot of them, there's a handful of things that I recommend. The first is to evaluate. Do these features sound nice or are all of these features ones that you will actually use? I challenge you to go through the different features and decide on the ones that your site truly needs versus the ones that you want but aren't necessarily necessary versus the ones you're not going to use at all. So you can see really how much of Jetpack are you actually using. The second thing that you can do is to take a look at the list of features that you do want or do need on your website and look for a single use plugin specifically for that feature. Now there is no limit to the number of plugins that you can have and having more plugins doesn't necessarily mean that your site will move slower. It is more so about the quality of the plugin that you have installed. Now the third thing that you can do, which many people are not aware of, is that if you are interested in some of Jetpack's features, is that Jetpack Jetpack actually offers some single purpose plugins. So go take a look at their list, see if any of those plugins match the needs that you specifically have and just install the plugin that is specific to that feature that you are looking for. The final thing that you can do is if you are convinced that you do need Jetpack installed, but you are not using all of the features is to make sure that you dedicate some time to actually go through all of the settings and make sure that you are actually disabling everything that you do not need. So it is not running in the background. It is not slowing down your website as much as possible. And just to make it easy in case you are going to be using Jetpack, I will leave instructions below on how you can disable those features that you are not using. And if you plan to move away from Jetpack, but you're not ready to do it just yet, that might be a good way to go ahead and start moving away from Jetpack a little bit just by at least disabling what you are not currently using. Now I'm going to be talking more about some of the plugins that you want to make sure that you are avoiding on your WordPress websites. Yes, even some of the really popular ones that many, many people use. And I'm also going to be talking about how to find the plugins that are actually slowing down your website and how to go about fixing it. So if you are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that so you do not miss out on those. I hope this helps you with your website. As always, thank you so much for watching, for your spending your time here with me, and I'll catch you next time.